How would you like to travel through our solar system without actually leaving Earth? Well, Flora is a huge space fan, so she went to meet up with artist and author Oliver Jeffers to find out how he's made that possible. Hi, I'm Flora. I love space. And I'm here to meet the person who designed this. Hi, Oliver. So, what is this? This is the beginning of a scale model of our solar system. Uh, and it's a 591 million to one scale model. So, it's, we've shrank everything down that, that much. Would you like to see the rest of the solar system? Yeah, shall we go? Shall we travel? And we'll see how small and far away the planets are in comparison to the sun. So, why did you create this model? What this model is, it's not necessarily a scientific model of the solar system. It's an art project that shows humanity's place in the solar system. How are these models connected to your latest book? Well, the latest book is about a father and two kids who are fighting in the backseat of a car. Um, how they use that, that road trip as a way to look at how people have always fought each other over space. So they turn it into a space car and they see how long it'll take to drive to each planet. And there's an awful lot of distance, as you can see from this. So the, really the models give me the idea for the book. So this is where all of the people live. And the furthest that humans have ever been from Earth is here in the moon. That's it, which is just, you know, not that far. But we think in our lifetime, we might get people all the way to Mars. Should we be the first to go? Yeah. If you were an alien visiting our solar system or our planet Earth, which aspect of space would you find most interesting? Where would you like to visit first? So, in a weird way, I've been a tour guide for an alien or two aliens showing up, and that's because I have two children and they showed up and they had never been here before and they knew nothing and I suddenly realized that I had to explain how this whole place works to them. And it made me think about planet Earth in a very different way, just how beautiful it is and how people are so interesting and fascinating and, and all widely different. And I realized that this is probably one of the most beautiful places in the universe. I know the last planet here is Pluto, but how long would it, would it take us to get there? If we were driving in a car at around 40 miles an hour, it would take about 11,000 years to get there. It's quite long. But walking on this trail, it's about nine kilometers that way at scale. So it would take us about three hours to get there. So we could do that, or we could just head back home to Earth. Yeah, it's where all the good food is. Yeah. <laughs>